We are taking a look today at Work Together 2-2. When we look at Work Together 2-2, what I want to point out, when you look at this assignment, do you see how there are two T accounts? And you will also notice that there is a date next to the set of T accounts. That will tell you um, which transaction you record where so you don't get it wrong. The other thing that you need to be aware of, you will get this wrong and it will make you angry. I have some attention is the fact that in accounting, debits come first. So on the transaction that I just did, we did we affected cash and owner's equity. You will recall that cash was the account that's debited. Debits always get listed first. So even though if you did the transaction on the board in Aplia, if you put owner's equity first and then followed it by cash, those are the right accounts, but they're in the wrong order. The Aplia will mark it wrong. Always remember that the debit account needs to come first. So we have a series of T accounts here. Our instructions do say right here that T accounts are given below, and I'm going to guide you to the following examples. Um, Kathy Burgum owns Burgum Services. It uses the following accounts. Please note that these accounts right here, cash through prepaid insurance, are the only accounts that we are going to be using. Okay we are going to be able to go through, and we have these transactions listed April 1st through April 9th. Our directions right here tells me, prepare two T accounts for each transaction. On each T account, write the account title of one of the accounts affected by the transaction. For each transaction, the first T account should be the account debited, and the second should be the account credited. It does say here, note that the computer will grade your assignment as correct only if the T accounts are in that order, even with an exclamation point. I said it out loud and it is in writing. Okay, Write the debit or credit amount in each T account to show the transaction effect. So the first transaction right here, receive cash from owner as an investment. So that's the one that I did on the board. And one account that we said that we're going to be affecting is cash. Would you agree? Is cash debited or credited though? Debit, so that's going to be the first one. The other account is going to be Kathy Burgum Capital. Please note that there is an account called Kathy Burgum Drawing. You're going to learn about that tomorrow. Just ignore it for now. Now, receive cash from owner as an investment, $5,000. We already said that cash is going to be debited because I just did that one in the, on the board. So I'm going to do $5,000 and hit enter. And then I'm going to do Kathy Burgum Capital, 5000 as a credit. This is how a transaction completed in the T accounts would look. I did not ask you all the questions that you would need to in order to figure out which one goes left or goes first, though, because I just did that one on the board. So when we go through and do April 2nd, and please notice that April 2nd is listed here. I will go through and ask you the series of questions in order for you to determine what accounts go where. So Pay attention to that because that is going to help you for your assignments. Because if you don't list the debit account, it will be wrong. I've told you several times the instructions in the book also do tell you that also or on the computer screen. My next transaction, receive cash for supplies. First thing that we have to determine is which two accounts are being affected. Receive cash for supplies. So cash and supplies. What type of an account are cash and supplies? Assets. Okay, they are both assets. Assets have what for normal balance? What side of the accounting equation? Left. So its normal balance is debit. Okay, so I have two assets. Both of them have a debit normal balance. Which one is going to be debited? The one that is going up, correct? So we have cash and we have supplies. Which one is going up? Which one do we have more of? Cash or supplies? Supplies. So supplies has to be the first account. I had to ask myself all of those questions before I even could put anything in here. My second account that I'm affecting is cash. 
We said that they are both assets. We already determined that supplies is going up, so supplies is being debited, $50. Cash is being credited, $50. April 5th, paid cash foreign insurance, or for insurance. Lisa, what two accounts am I affecting? What type of an account is cash, Lisa? And what kind of account is prepaid? Excellent. What side of the accounting equation are they on, Lisa? What is their normal balance? Correct, because left is debit, right is credit. So, Lisa, they are both assets and they both have a debit normal balance. Which one is going up? Prepaid insurance. So we're going to list that one first. Good job. Again, I had to do all of those questions to myself before I can do anything on the computer. Um, we have more insurance of $75 and we have less cash for $75. April 6th, bought supplies and account from bail, from bail supplies, $100. William, what two accounts are being affected? Okay, which one is sale on account? Which one of these up here on the top? Yes, and it's called accounts payable bail supply. It's important I, that I want you to associate the word accounts payable with bail supply. All I heard you say before was um, on an account bail supply. I didn't hear accounts payable. So if you said that before, sorry, I didn't hear it. Okay. So we have uh, supplies and accounts payable bail supply. What type of an account is supplies? Asset. What side of the accounting equation is it on? So its normal balance is? Correct. Uh, accounts payable bail supplies, what type of an account? You are correct. What side of the accounting equation is on, William? So it's normal balance? Credit. Do we have more supplies or less supplies, William? So that would tell me that because supplies is an asset on the left-hand side, that supplies is being debited. So that is going to be my first account. We have more supplies uh, for $100. We owe accounts payable bail supplies more money because it is a liability. Because we owe accounts payable bail supply more money, we are increasing how much we owe them. So we are going to be crediting accounts payable bail supply $100. The last one that we're doing together is going to be paid cash on account to bail supply. Kylie, what two accounts are being affected? The ninth. What two accounts are being affected? Accounts payable. Okay. Cash is what type of an account? Normal balance? Correct. Accounts payable bail supplies, what type of an account? Normal balance? Correct. Do we have more cash or less cash? Last cash. So what are we doing to cash then? Debiting or crediting? Correct. So cash is actually going to be credited for $50. Accounts payable, bail supply, we owe them less money. So it, accounts payable, bail supply is going down. So we are going to debit accounts payable, bail supply, $50. Why don't you go ahead and try the on your own. When you are done with the on your own, I do have application 2-2 turned on. You will notice I have it open right here. It is very similar to what you did for the work together and on your own. I am telling you right now, 
if you put the credit account first and Applia marks it wrong, I will not give you points back for it because I am telling you right now which account has to go first. Debit. So you have to take your time to figure it out. So for tomorrow, you need to make sure that you have application 2-2 figured out. Tomorrow's explanation, I'm going to guarantee, is going to confuse you. You will need to take notes tomorrow. So far, I've gotten some pretty good looks, like the understanding was talking about. Tomorrow will change things immensely when we take a look at how we affect owner's equity. Read 2-3. And make sure you bring some paper with to take notes.